my name is Rachel Fisher and I am here tonight with Bionic Buzz on the red carpet of the 11th Annual Awards celebrating makeup artists and hairstylists of the Guild. Stay tuned for more interviews to come. We are here with comedian and TV host Jamie Monroy. So what does it mean for you to be here tonight? Well, it's my night off. Usually I do what you're doing and you do an amazing job. Um, but great to be here on the red carpet, really for the uh, you know makeup artists and hairstylists. 706, that's the union, you know, that without them we don't look as good. I mean, you look amazing, I'm sure, all the time. But, you know, makeup is just, this is what makes television, Hollywood movies, all such an engaging production because it's not just one facet it's all linked together by all these amazing people the camera operators the interviewers the the talent on the screen the writer producer director and hair and makeup and let's not forget wardrobe okay I'm kind of styling I'm rocking my night off outfit but I have no less uh, the utmost respect for makeup and hair people. I've worked with so many of them through my career and in different ways. Uh, in uh, TV, I remember working with Lucille Ball and she said, you know, back in the day they had to put gauze over the screen, be, uh, over the, the lens because, you know, the lighting and everything had not been perfected just yet. So makeup played a big part. And who was her makeup artist? Max Factor who then later became a very legendary uh, makeup artist and brand, the Max Factor brand. There was actually a guy, and he was on I Love Lucy. Yes. If you look at the credits, you'll see makeup artist Max Factor. And then from there, we just went on to such other great people. I worked with a guy who wanted to be an upcoming uh, makeup artist, and uh, but he did a lot of horror and weird kind of stuff, but they do the celebrities during the day. Um, and he, his name is Rick Baker, and he went on to do some of the big, uh, you know, a thriller and uh, so many other amazing horror makeup that helps stories be told, scripts being made, and actors that get into the character. Right? I mean, thinking about horror, glam, beauty, it all helps to create the world itself, doesn't it? Yes, especially whatever world you're stepping into, whether it be on a red carpet or on a daytime drama, a TV show, a variety show, or like you said, or a sitcom. Um, and movies, of course, you know, that's, and then now with CGI or many other things, you know, okay, we're kind of missing out on that, on that realness, the genuineness, I think, of the art and craft of uh, makeup and, and hairstyle and wardrobe because stories will be told digitally. So that's another thing, but that's why I prefer that we remain organic, <laughs> right? Uh, we cannot replicate another uh, TV host and producer like yourself. There's only one Rachel, folks, you know. <laughs> But, um, you know, with that in mind, and uh, Harry Blake, oh my goodness, a legendary and Emmy Award winning. Of course, my friends, uh, uh, Bruce Grayson, who was a fantastic uh, television and uh, uh, makeup artist, then when, uh, has, does the makeup for all the Emmys, the Oscars, the Grammys, has received recognition, and to the point where he got called to the White House. And he lived there for four years doing the hair and makeup uh, for the president and all the dignitaries. So where would we be without hair and makeup? It's not just Hollywood and show business. And those of us on stage bring in all of our good energy and music and humor and talent. But it's, uh, it's the world we live in now and it's exciting that people exude their best. Definitely, and it's really a team effort. So tell us, what are you up to now? Where can we catch you? Well, I, uh, I'm in between uh, award shows right now. We've had a tremendous season with the Golden Globes, the Critic Choice, and so many of the other award shows. The Saturn Awards are really big uh, with uh, Keanu Reeves and uh, Jodie Foster and Nicolas Cage that were there, so it was great to be with all of them. And then now we've, uh, we just wrapped up the Grammys, so there's this little break now. And we're, so we're letting it pour and rain here in Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, California, and Hollywood. And hopefully as soon as that clears, we're all kind of gaining momentum for the Oscars, you know, which I'm, I know will be out there. And uh, that is uh, Hollywood's biggest night. And uh, so that's what's going on next. And you can always follow me at uh, the, T-H-E-E, -E, Jamie Monroy, J-A-I, Jaime in Spanish, Jamie in English, Monroy, M-O-N-R-O-Y. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jamie. Pleasure interviewing again. Okay, thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna interview you. We're gonna have it on, on our site as well. But feel free to have a video. This is so great. We're at the red carpet. Yes. And I. We're about to do our first interview together. Yeah. Are you all ready? Yeah. <laughs> so, what does it mean for you both to be here tonight, celebrating the awards and the nomination? 
Vanessa, you want to so take exciting. this? It's so exciting. It's surreal. I'm, I'm, I'm just baffled. I'm so grateful to everybody who really appreciated it. I'm just glad that I got to be a part of something, and I really love 706. Yeah. yeah. And so tell us about Nyad and how you perfected the wet hair look and the aquatic. Well, you know, it took a lot of sea salt hairspray and a lot of pomades to keep the hair kind of oily, greasy, so it looked like they didn't wash their hair on that boat every day. And so, you know, or they took a little dip in the ocean, but most of it was really, really natural hairstyling so that it will also support the elements, you know. I am really appreciate that they recognize the effort that we put into it. Amazing. And you both are like fashionistas yourselves. Is the wet hair look still in for red carpets? Well, I'll tell you what hair look I really would like to see go away. Beach waves should go away. <laughs> I hate to say it. Curtain bangs are kind of sort of on their way out too. I mean, there's a picture of Sophia Loren in the lot, in the lot downstairs near the breakfast room with curtain bangs from 1960 something. So you know what I mean? Let's do something new. Definitely. I do love colorful hair, though, still. I love colorful hair. More colorful hair, right? <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Thank you both. <laughs> so, Julie, you are presenting tonight. What does it mean for you to be here? Oh, well, it's just, it's just an honor. It's an honor to ha have these, you know, awards and, and to be here. Yeah. And how does makeup and hair affect you in your life? And tell us more about that. Well, as a makeup artist myself, and one who wears makeup, <laughs> I love it all the way around. And you know, I we're here to thank all the sponsors, to thank all the people, everyone that made this night happen. So I'm very excited to be able to thank everyone because this takes a full year to prepare. So it's it's really special to be able to thank everyone that's involved in it. Thank you so much, Julie. Thank you. So you both worked at Abbott Elementary. What was it like working on the makeup for the kids? Oh my God, the kids are so amazing. <laughs> when crazy. I tell you, it's it's fun every day. You got to sit there and make sure there's no Cheeto dust and make sure they don't have blue tongues. But it's amazing every day. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Thank you both so much. So you both worked on lessons in chemistry. What was it like styling for the 1950s? For the, styling for 1950s. 1950s. Yes. Um, <laughs> That's a big question. That's a, everything about the show. Um, um, just a lot of researches, working with actors, use their own beauty. Um, that's about it. I think great research and great leadership. Somebody who has a vision and guides you to get there. Preparation, preparation, and guidance. Thank you both. Darby and Gerilyn? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. We got you all right. So you both worked on The Voice. What was it like styling for the contestants and the judges? Um, actually, we don't do the judges, but we are in charge of the contestants. I'm the department head, and Darby is the key. And we're, you know, it's always, we're looking for trending styles and helping the artists, you know, um, elevate to what they want to be rather than what we want them to be. So it's always really fun. Super creative. <laughs> I love to hear it's a collaborative artist. It's a collaboration between you and the artists themselves. That's amazing. Yeah, the artists, the um, wardrobe, uh, makeup and us. It's uh, all a collaboration. Teamwork. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Today I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah, so Dancing with the Stars. What is it like working on set and designing for the show? I feel this is the most amazing show because we get to do ultra glittery glam kind of like <laughs> over the top beautiful hair all the time. Yeah. But it has to move a lot, so like it has to be beautiful and sturdy, and uh, we're all good at that. And to, to me, that's we're, it's a blast working on it. Yeah. So, what is the trick to a sturdy hairdo? The foundation, the foundation of the hairstyle. Bobby pins, hairspray. What's the trick? Yeah, and, all of the and thread, sewing, yeah, sewing a lot clamps, of things. glue. Yeah. Well, not clamps. I'm kidding. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> To pay clips, yep. yeah, like lots, lots of like in infrastructure yes. and teasing, you know, all the tricks of the trade. Yep. Okay, so what was it like styling for the iconic show and for the decade of Daisy Jones and the Six? Uh, it was a whirlwind. It was really fun, and uh, it was a lot of a uh, variety of facial hair and tan skin and. Uh, 
<laughs> I don't know, the crazy rock and roll scene of the 70s. So what is like one of your like go-to styles for rock and roll? It just has to be for the 70s, just this natural kind of Laurel Canyon hippie, like authentic vibe. John Travolta was an amazing experience. We had a great deal of fun. And, uh, you know, Christmas uh, during the uh, summertime is always kind of special. So it's uh, been fun. It's been a great time. And what does it mean for you all to be here tonight? Uh, you know, it's, these chances don't come along. These experiences don't come along very often. So we try to grab them, you know, as uh, when they're available. And uh, it's just an amazing experience. Anything, anything else to add from the team here? You said it all. You nailed it. Thank you. <laughs> Unser High was an incredible experience because it was um, so big and so creative and so current. And we used a lot of makeup, but we needed to keep it appealing to the younger crowd. So we, you know, we made a special effort not to have it too sexy. And so that was a little bit of a challenge, but it was very, very rewarding. Yeah. And what does it mean to be here tonight? It's just really nice to be acknowledged, but even more than being acknowledged, um, it's, it's having the opportunity to work on something this big. So I think just, you know, winning the interviews and, and having the trust of the directors and the producers to allow me to create such a huge show, uh, that means more to me than anything. <laughs> nice to meet you both. So what was it like working on the production of The Color Purple? Um, you know what, it's one of the most memorable projects I've ever done. Um, knowing the story and being able to redo the story, combine the musical with the original movie um, to come up with a new product, it was something that I think in my culture we will always remember the first thing and we'll always remember the, rem the remake of it as well. Yes. Priceless moments to be able to express and show natural hair in that level, priceless. Amazing. And there's a deep message behind the movie itself. What does it mean to be a part of it? You know what, to be able to tell a story about an overcomer, somebody who has, you know, been through trials and tribulations and at the end becomes their friend with the enemy. You know, to be able to tell a story and to have somebody at the end be the hero, you know, is something that I look forward to actually doing again. Because being able to tell stories that the underdog takes charge and be the winner in the end, good things. Amazing. And we're going to get both of your names, the color purple, obviously. Your name? Lawrence Davis. Andrea Mona Bowman. Oh, hi. That's right. Hello. So you all worked on The Haunted Mansion, the new movie. What was it like? Long hours, fun, and fun. <laughs> A time was had. A very good time was had. Good to hear. And what were the inspirations behind the styling? Gosh, I would say Jeffrey Curlin, refer to him, he is a genius when it comes to costume designing and he's so inclusive when it comes to hair and makeup and how to pull those looks together. I mean, some of the, just the illustrations that he brought us to for the vision of Haunted Mansion and it was so on point, like the ride, like the Disney ride, just keeping it close to the ride. It was amazing. Our set was actually like the ride. So when we walked in every day, we were on the ride. Yes. Scary and fun. Um, instrumental and influential for the whole thing. Yes. Well, thank you all so much. All right, Pleasure meeting you. So you. Oh gosh, that would take probably 10,000 years to even explain it, but basically James Gunn just created this intense, beautiful world of misfits, the guardians of the galaxy themselves. And on this particular one, we got to just go so above and beyond to create a whole new world with the human animals and half human, half animal. Connie built all of the wigs. Steph and I were there on set. We had the best time. Hello, pleasure to meet you both. I'm Robert. Robert? I'm Corey. Corey, Rachel, nice, nice to meet to you. you. So what was it like styling for the Kelly Clarkson show? It was awful. Just kidding. It was amazing. <laughs> Amazing. She's amazing. amazing. It's amazing. We have a lot of fun. So I worked in LA and Corey took over New York. I'm in New York. <laughs> so we're like... But we go way back. We go way back. <laughs> coast to coast. After 30 years we're nominated together. Yes. So... How does that feel? Like... Awesome. Amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. So tell us, what is it like working on the set itself? It's fun. We have a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun in L.A. because we work together in L.A. Yeah, we had the same in New York. It's team. It's a, it's a great team. We laugh. We have fun. 
It's an amazing. And we and we listen to music and we just, you know, have fun. It's just like play. We go to work and we play. That's it. We get paid and to we play. Work. And we work. <laughs> we work, but we get paid to have fun and play. You know, when you do what you love, it's amazing. Yes. One quick question. Yeah, feel free to come forward. So you were part of sponsoring tonight's event. What is that like? We are super excited and honored to be a presenting sponsor of this prestigious uh, guild. Um, we've been in the hair care business for over 40 years, and we started in Hollywood. My father had a salon on Sunset in the late 1970s, and then he started this business, and you know we've been selling to movie studios and the guild uh, for a long time, and it's just an honor. Ours, tell us, what is it like working with everybody? Yeah, no, go ahead. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, we love our job. We're there, you know, day in and day out. We work year-round on Young and the Restless. So we're one of the shows that never goes down, and we're just like a family. It's wonderful. It's a group effort. It's a group yes, effort. it's a group effort. I can feel the family vibes here. Oh, what does it mean to be nominated tonight? A big deal. Yeah. Big deal. We feel very honored. Hi, I'm Anton. Oh, hello, Rachel. Nice Pleasure to meet, to meet you. you. How are you? Good. How are you doing? She's going for it. She's running for it. Oh, we got it. We got. It. We got to show the product, right? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Oh. Thank you so much. So you are a sponsor tonight, representing Ardell. Yes. What does it mean for you to be here tonight? You know what, Ardell? Ar Ardell's incredible because they're such a legacy Hollywood brand, and they create. They create these incredible products that are so beloved by pros, and the the pros love them. I mean, they use them for everything, for you know, red carpets, photo shoots, television, film, everything. And they're, I, I just feel like they're they're so wonderfully supportive, and they they do everything for the professional artistry community, and I love that. I love it too. And you have some products with you. You want to show some for the camera? This is one of our new favorites. This is the seamless underlash. Can we see it? Can you see it? <laughs> These are so cool. They go underneath and they're amazing. They're they're just like beautifully seamless. You know, you don't see anything on the top. You could do them without liner. That's always a big trick with, you know, strip lashes. They're so good. So good. So just loving all of the new stuff and I believe it's in the gift bag for everybody. So that's fun, right? <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so welcome. Pleasure Thank you. It was so you. nice to meet you. Yes, enjoy the night. Thank you. So what is it like working on the series? Oh, it's a lot of fun. We really are a big team. We love collaboration, working together, and coming up with the most efficient way we can apply these makeups and make them as cool as possible. And what does it mean to be here tonight? Well, we're very, very grateful to be here because it's amazing to be um, nominated amongst all of our co-workers and the people we love and admire. So it's very, very amazing. <laughs> One more question for you. What does it mean to be honored tonight? There are no words to describe how uh, what an honor this is. We we're all we're all Star Wars fans. Everyone who works on the show is a Star Wars nerd. So it's like every day we're at Comic Con and we get to get paid for it, and we have a blast doing what we love. And this is just the cherry on top. Y'all nailed it. This is awesome. Thank you guys so much. So what was it like working on American Born Chinese? It was amazing. It was a lot of work and a lot of fun and. I felt honored to be working on it and every single cast member and crew member felt like it was a special show and everyone used the word honored because that's really how we felt, which was unusual. Anything to add? I mean, I loved working on the show. I'm a big fantasy girl. It was such a dream. Yeah. Uh, incredible cast, incredible makeups and hair. Costumes, everything. If you haven't seen it yet, you have to see it. We're trying to get a second season, so we'll see what happens. I would just say it's the my favorite thing I've ever worked on, and it's an incredible project. And agree with everything that they're saying. Hello, Michael. Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. So you were honored tonight with the Vanguard Award. What does that mean to you? Uh, it's it's really a combination of my entire career because it, it not only is about makeup, it's about how uh, I took care of my crews, I made sure everybody was taken care of. I mean, on Star Trek for 18 years, it was, I, I was interested in teaching, because I did teach at uh, the colleges, and, and just 
being with everybody, making sure everybody's okay. So all this, you know, in, in my history, in the business, is just, uh, it's perfect. It's perfect. And you both worked on Marvelous Miss Maisel? Yes. yes. Iconic production. Yeah. Tell us, what was it like working on the production? Oh my God, it was hard. Uh, it was so hard. It was long, long, long days. It was a lot of research. It was so rewarding after it was all over and um, just the most incredible crew that we could have ever worked with. Like, as a whole, everybody was like a family. Oh, it absolutely was. I did, from start to beginning, he did a long and, haul, uh, yeah. It was the most amazing thing. It's gratifying. It's uh, a once in a lifetime where you actually get to shine. <laughs> you know, we always, everybody works hard, but it takes a special production to really be able to, you know, shine and show what you can do. And it's with good people, family people, and it was like, you know, family meeting every day. Oh my it gosh. Yeah, 17 hour days and it's important to be around a group that you can tolerate for 17 hours a day. Right, Klaus? Yeah. yeah. No, it was it fun. Was, it was a fantastic production. It was hard and it was fun. <laughs> Thank you both. And then can I get your names for the camera as well? Yes, Colleen Snowgren. Klaus Lula. Pleasure to meet you both. What was it like working on Candy Cane Lane? You know what? It, it was it was a really busy show. It's a really huge undertaking, and it's a lot. It was a lot of fun. You know, I think we 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 got to create some new look, something fun for for the characters. You know, and 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 you know when we have actors who literally unexpectedly shave their facial hair off then um, the night before, so we had to really you know figure it out. But you know, but that's 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 the part of our job. You know, that's part of our job, and it's it's. You know, I think it was a fun movie. I think there's a lot of creative looks on it, and I'm hoping that people enjoyed it, you know. And you're also styling to create a world. What is that like? Um, so, say again? Styling to create a world, Candy Cane Lane. What is that like? Yeah. Oh, it was fabulous. We were, you know, communicating and collaborating with the director's wishes and costumers and production design and bringing it all together to create this Christmas world. I mean, it was really fun. You know, and, and we want to make sure that it, 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 it's different than any other Christmas world that has already been done. Obviously, having a black Santa was a huge thing. It was so fun. And then, and then having, and you, know, uh, you know, and having Peppermint, mm -hmm. who is an elf that, that, that you kind of like, it's kind of like um, literally somebody that loved Christmas so much today, like Christmas exploded all over their face. You know, that's a lot of fun. You know, it's like glitter, glitter, more glitter. I love it. Glitter, glitter, and more glitter. Thank you both. Through the whole movie. Glitter, glitter, and more glitter. Great motto. Thank you both, and enjoy tonight. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? What does it mean for you to be here tonight? So for over 60 years, First Entertainment has served the entertainment industry, and we're here tonight to see their creative talents come to life. What are you most looking forward to? Uh, the award show. So the makeup artists and hairstylists create our favorite characters, and we're here, First Entertainment is here to honor them tonight. Rachel, I'm Shallon. Nice, Shallon, to, meet nice you. to meet you. So Shallon, you are here as a content creator and also with here the sponsors. How does it feel? I'm, it's, it's exciting. You know, this is new for me. I'm still like, you know, dabbling. I'm like dipping my toes still. So this is very, it's very adventurous, it feels like. I'm really excited. And how does hair and makeup affect what you do in your industry? A lot of it has to do with my content. A lot of my content is around my hair or it's around my makeup. So it's kind of cool to like be in the room for it now for once, you know? And what is your go-to styling tip for 2024? Go-to styling tip? I'm not gonna lie, concealer. I've been kind of like getting real into like a good quick concealer. It's been my saving grace for like, if you wanna do something for the gym, it's quick, it's not heavy. If you just wanna check the mail, you know, some people like me are a little crazy. I need a little concealer to check the mail. You know, concealer, like just keep the concealer light and honestly, it'll do just enough for you every time. Amazing, and then also your handle, just so we have it on camera. Yeah, of course, C-H-A-L-L-X-N. What was it like styling for the 50s for Lessons in Chemistry? Actually, we lived in the 50s, but we went from 20s, 30s, 40s, and, and 50s, 60s. and then 60s. So Styling for the decades, what was it like? A lot, it was of work. It was a lot of work. 
<laughs> Lots of we wigs. Were, Lots, Lots of wigs. wigs. We were Lots very, very busy. Boy wigs, girl wigs, all wigs. Yeah. It was yes. great. Lots of wigs. What is your number one tip with working with wigs? What? Number one tip when working with wigs. Oh. Oh. Uh, number one you have tip. to do your homework. You have yeah. to design and do your homework. Exactly. I th I, yeah, I think I think probably uh, experience. You know, the longer that you do it, the better you become. The more you do it, the better you become. Yeah, practice. Lots of research. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Enjoy tonight. Thank you. Oh gosh, it was so much fun. Uh, working with Doja Cat was like such a pleasure. She's so professional. She knew exactly what she wanted. Uh, it was great. It was a great time. Love to hear, what were her inspirations and your inspirations for the looks? Uh, demons. <laughs> Everything demonic. Uh, but yeah, uh, it, it was super fun. Um, yeah, yeah, I loved it. Yeah, yeah. What does it mean to be nominated tonight? I'm sorry? What does it feel to be nominated tonight? Oh gosh, it's insane. Um, I've only been in Local 706 for like a year, so uh, yeah, yeah, and I'm pretty much just starting my journey only five years ago in makeup, so uh, it's, it's incredible. Yeah, thank you. So one quick question. What was it like working with the actors and styling for Joyride? Oh, it was a lot of fun. Every day was just huge laughs and the, just the, the feeling and the vibe on set was just really lighthearted and fun. It was, it was a good time. What was your goal when on set each day? What was your number one goal on set each day? Oh God, just to make everybody look fabulous. <laughs> Definitely to have fun. Have fun, enjoy laughing. Oh, amazing. So tell us about the styling behind Danger Force. Tell us about the styling behind Danger Force. We, ba we basically, we uh, do a bunch of fantastic uh, villains and superheroes and we have a good time uh, doing a lot of wigs, and uh, it's a, a fantastic uh, town of Swellview with a bunch of craziness. It's fun. I love it. And also, you guys are styling for a kids and teen show. What's that like? It's a lot of fun. A lot of different personalities and young people, and um, you know, they're growing as the show progresses, and so we kind of get to know them and their personalities and who they become through the course of the show. And um, this year we had Alexis and Brandon. It was super cool. Like new, per new, new people with really beautiful, like beautiful quality talent. So it was a really fun year. I think we had a really lot of fun this year. Thank you. One question for you all: What was it like working on the icon? Santa Clauses. It was pretty fantastic. I mean, we were lucky because we got to work with Tim Allen, who's the greatest guy ever. And the fact that Tim hadn't been in the Santa makeup for 15 years since the movies, he was uh, he was not excited, but he ended up loving it. So because we were able, between Scott, Erica, and myself, and the rest of our team on the show, we were able to provide the makeup. It looked great every day, and Tim was in and out. And uh, we just had a great time. And plus, all the elves, you know, we were in Elf Mania. We had tons and tons of elves through the whole show and so many other characters. And really, really fun show. So it was, it was great to go to Christmas every single day. So that was nice. Thank you. So what does it mean for you both to be here tonight? Well, we're uh, very excited about uh, 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 seeing some of our friends we haven't seen for a long time. Uh, we worked with a lot of people here. Uh, the, the people who, who do the, the hair and makeup are, are incredible artists. Uh, we are just the canvases that they work on, but, uh, <laughs> but it's, it's an honor to be here. Thank you. Yeah, and they make us, well, they make us feel comfortable and safe, and when it's a very intimate thing to have someone put your makeup and do your hair and see us at an exceptionally early hours in the morning. And uh, we're here to honor someone that we both love and admire and respect very much, Michael Westmore. So we feel very excited to honor our friend. Amazing. Without, without makeup, uh, we wouldn't be who we were. Uh, uh, I mean, we, we, they create our characters and we flesh them out. So, so cool. Oh my goodness. Tell us, what is it like working on the Iconic Show? 
How does it feel like working on the iconic show? You asked. She's the boss. She's been there it's, forever. Well, actually, She's been there forever. <laughs> we just come and help while she, while she makes amazing stuff each week. We ha we have a blast, and Zena Green, our department head, um, she allows us to be have creative fun. and I'll have fun yeah. and. Yeah. Like kids yeah. in candy stores, we get to play and have fun and, and, and make people up every day. It's kind of a good job. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. And I'm going to challenge you here. What is it like working as a team? Good team. So look at us. Yeah. 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 It's, like a dance. it's like a ballet. We're the like best we have chemistry, team. Right? Yeah, there's no Hyatt team, which is, it's, which is very true. And we can't do it without each other because we're, we all, uh, I always say um, it's a process and, and, they all might make a hamburger different, but we all will end up making a hamburger together in a very cool one, if that makes sense. I'm glad we, I'm glad we let James do the talking. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah. 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 Such a great team. Thank you all so much. What does it mean to you to be here tonight? Oh, it's, it's an incredible honor. Uh, we're voted in by our peers for our other members, and that's... We're a very critical bunch. <laughs> so... To make it this far, to make it here, is is indeed an honor. And what is it like working on to build the world behind the production? To which what? To build the world behind the production. Well, it's it's like magic. It's like Dr. Frankenstein. It's like uh, you know a magician that creates a magic trick, and only he knows how it works. And you get the help of people behind you, and it's really terrific. And. I love it. I wouldn't be here if I didn't love it. <laughs> and I'm glad that I'm glad that I do. I'm glad that I still do. Thank you. So what was it like working on American Idol? So much fun. It was great. I'll let him tell you. <laughs> it's a great opportunity to help young artists really create and really cultivate a look and a persona to sing a song and tell a story. What is that collaboration process like? Well, of course, we always want to make people feel great about themselves. So first and foremost, they have to feel comfortable. And then we work in conjunction with war, you know, wardrobe, makeup, and all the creative parts. And it's great because when we have a team of troubleshooters, we can really make anything happen. Facts. It is facts. <laughs> pleasure meeting you all. Thank you so much. Hi, Hi. Richard. <laughs> Kevin. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. We'll have you step for a little bit. So what was it like working on The Marvelous Miss Maisel? I mean, we had a great time. I mean, you know, unfortunately, uh, Mike Marino, who was uh, our designer, prosthetic designer, couldn't be here today. But um, he laid the groundwork for, for, for all the success of the prosthetic makeups that, that, um, that he applied and Kevin and I applied. Kevin and I applied three different, four different characters on the show. and. It was great. The cast is wonderful. I mean, it's kind of bittersweet because it's the ending of, of a five-year run, and I mean, it was it was great to see their the kind of family that they had created on on a show. They were very tight. I was very impressed with the actors. I mean, uh, I had never worked on a show that was like the script was word for word. Like they could not divert from the from the script. Like a uh or a the. So, um, and charming in the chair. I mean, they were they were a pleasure to work for. Absolutely. Yeah. I'll second that. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. So, I want to ask you a question. What does it mean for you to be here honoring the awards tonight? This is <clears throat> this is awesome. <laughs> You're honoring the magicians. You know they're magicians. There's not like you look when you get off the bed in the morning. They changed the whole thing, honey. <laughs> they do. Tell us, what was one of your favorite moments on set working with like a hairstylist or a makeup artist? What was one of your favorite moments working with a hairstylist or a makeup artist on set? There's so many, I can't, I can't give you one. <laughs> it's been a wonderful journey with all of them. And of course, I'm still working with them, so. You are still working? That's what you do when you're 30. <laughs> it's your passion, right? <laughs> Amazing. Any wise words to those out there looking to act just like you? Any wise words to young actors coming from you? Yes. Never give up, honey. It's never too late. 
but but respect the business that you want to get in, no matter what it is, and it's respected enough to learn about it, and then proceed and don't give up. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> One quick question for y'all. Sure. You look amazing. What does it mean to be here tonight? It is such an honor to be here tonight because, of course, we love to be celebrated for our work, but by this peer group, it's like no other. So e even just being amongst these other nominees is just such an honor, and we're really excited about it. And you are representing the show tonight with your looks. Tell us about it. <laughs> what did she say? I'm oh, oh, sorry, can you repeat that one more time? Representing the show with your looks tonight, tell us. Yeah, well, you know, this is what we serve. We serve uh, evil queen of darkness at the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you both so Thank much. You. Look fabulous. You wore the right color. Yeah. Red, right? <laughs> so much. Right. Fabulous, fabulous. So, what does it mean for you to be here tonight? Well, it's a night after, especially last year with strikes and everything like that, this is a great night just to get together with all of our friends, our peers, celebrate the art, and celebrate our friendship and camaraderie. So for me, that's the most important thing tonight. So. You all have a fabulous team here. What is it like working with one another? What's it like working with us? It's pretty amazing and it's easy. That's the most important part is that we've all established a really nice relationship and we've been working with each other for quite some time and we don't have to think and it's we can just execute the makeups and make everybody look good. Thank you all so much. Thank Enjoy you. Tonight. Nice to meet you. So what does it mean for you to be here tonight? I'm so excited. It's like the dream come true. So we're all the way from South Africa, from Cape Town. So, and we've been nominated for the teen series. It's called One Piece. Um, it was amazing. So, and I'm so excited. I'm like, <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Thank you so much for organizing and to be also here. It's very nice to be part of that incredible event. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy tonight. Thank you. So what was it like working on this season of American Idol? It was great. It's always so much fun to do this show because it's real people coming into this grandiose situation and we're like their first line of defense. So it's just making them feel comfortable, making them feel like at home and that they can be themselves and bring out the best version of themselves, which a lot of them haven't even ever been subjected to <laughs> sitting in a chair. So right. it's like making them feel welcome and as comfortable as they possibly can before they get on that stage. So they don't have to think about anything else but singing. Love it. Comfortable and easy and it's representing them. That's amazing. So tell us, you're here tonight. What does that mean? We got a nomination. <laughs> yes, and how does it feel? How does it feel to be here? We're really happy to be yeah. here. I'm um, really grateful to be here, and all our hard work has really come through. And in the category with a lot of our friends, it's like it's yeah. not a competition. It's just kind of like we, all we appreciate. Together. Yeah, we appreciate yeah. each other's work and validate what we do on a daily basis. <laughs> Question: So, how does it feel to be here tonight and nominated? Very excited. Very excited. And the series, what was it like working on it? Um, you know, fast pace, really interesting, lots of fun characters, um, really fun to design. Do you have like a favorite character that you all worked on and created? Huh. I guess our tattoo boy, our drummer boy, Nick. Yeah, a, lot of, a lot of tattoos on him, um, some punk rock looks, and um, you know, we kind of uh, ran the gamut with all the looks on the show. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. They're both amazing. I love doing hair, first and foremost. I was, um, I am Gwen's personal on The Voice, and I enjoy doing all of the fabulous looks that you get to see each episode. And we collaborate together to create all these looks. And good luck to everybody that's in the awards today. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Hello, Rachel. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. you got it? Perfect. So we're going to have you come a little bit here. Quick question for you. So you were nominated tonight. How does it feel? Oh my gosh, it's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> You're doing what you love, right? Yeah, oh my gosh, it's a blessing. You know, I, who would have thought? 
So, Who would have thought? thought? So what is it like to style musicians and artists? You know, it's, you know, I feel like, you know, I am pop culture, so I, I'm doing what I'm love, I love. So when I style them, it's great. You know, I'm, I'm doing what I like to do. I love it. Anyone you want to shout out tonight that you love working with? Well, I want to give a shout out to the team of uh, Candy Can Lane. I'm rooting for them. I want them to win. <laughs> you have a fabulous look tonight. Tell us about it. How does this represent you? You know, well, this is definitely totally me. You know, me and a friend of mine at Aunt Funky's Closet, you know, put this together. You know, check it out. <laughs> Love the back. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, like I said, we all are creative, so I came creatively. I love it. And where can our team find you on social media? Brian Stephen Banks. That's me. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so, so much, much, Brian. Enjoy tonight. Thank Pleasure you. to meet you all. You look lovely. Too. Oh, my goodness. And Christmas oh colors God. represent, right? It's for the show. Amazing. So what does it mean to be nominated in here tonight? Oh, I mean, oh, we're just really excited and happy to be here. We love working on the Santa Clauses and we're so happy. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it was a really fun experience. We're so excited and so thankful that like all the 706 came to help out and bring these characters to life. So much fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're just very grateful to be here and thank our peers for recognizing our work. Beautiful. Thank you all so much. Oh, we love it. I love the show. I've had the honor of producing it for 10 years. This is our 11th year. I didn't do the first one, but I've done every one since then. I love the show. I love the artists. I love that all the talent comes out. Uh, it's a big show. We have grown so far from where we started 10 years ago. We got 9,000 people here tonight, so it's going to be an amazing night. Anything that you're looking forward to in particular? Oh, there's a surprise that I can't say, but yes. <laughs> Come on in, it's a group effort, right? Okay, so you all are nominated tonight and you worked on an incredible production. What was it like building the world and styling for Star Trek? Yeah, Star Trek is, a, is an entire world and it takes far more than who we have here. There is a massive team that goes into doing hair and makeup and costumes and everything to make the look of the world and make you truly believe that these characters and that these aliens are real. And it takes a massive, massive team, team effort. And it was really, really amazing to work with people that I would love, I love that I can call friends. No, she just answered it. Yeah. yeah. That was amazing. Thank you all so much and enjoy tonight. Thank you. The rookie, you are nominated tonight along with your team. How does it feel? It feels amazing to be among our peers. Yes, it's great. And let me ask you, why do you do what you do? I'm a storyteller. I love bringing the words to life on the film. I love it. And where can our audiences find you on social media? They can find me at Rookie Styles. So what was it like to work with Hallie and the song and the message itself? Um, it was amazing. Um, I love working with Hallie. The song has such a beautiful message about black girls' hair. It was an honor to be a part of it. Anything to add? I had an amazing time and I'm just blessed that she came up with a, such a beautiful song for us to be able to create beautiful hair and amazing hair and be nominated here today. So you're nominated. How does it feel? Are you excited? Looking forward to anything tonight? Excited and nervous. Hello. One question for you. We'd love to ask. Thank you. You look wonderful. Sequin. I love yeah. it. So Nicole, you worked on the iconic show, The Bear. Tell us, what was that like? Oh, an amazing experience, amazing cast, um, amazing department head. I've had a, a wonderful time working with everyone. And you're nominated here tonight along with your crew. How does it feel? I'm so excited. I'm just happy to be here and just soaking everything in. And how did you fit the tone of the show into your work? Fit the tone of the show into my work? Um, well, it was actually more, uh, more to my tone to begin with. I'm kind of... You know, high intensity and also barely there. So, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much, Nicole. Thank you. Excited and grateful because I'm going to celebrate the people that are behind the scenes that basically create the show. If we didn't have the hair and makeup team, like everyone would just look like a blank slate in front of the camera and in all movies we'd all look the same. And the whole reason why we watch film is for the art aspect. And they basically bring color to a black and white picture, in my opinion. So 
to celebrate them is like, I feel so honored to be here because these are the ones that we forget about sometimes. So we need to celebrate them. So I am grateful, excited. Obviously working on the series right now, what projects do you have coming up next? Well, we actually have a project that just came out called Proof, Sh nah, Proof Sheet, sorry. <laughs> and it's going to a bunch of festivals. It's already nominated for like 11 awards. So yeah, we're going to be at the Edelweid, Edelweild, California. Is that how you say it? Edelweild? Edelweild Cinema Fest on March 7th. So if you want to come check it out. How are you doing tonight? I'm great. How are you? Good. So what was it like working on Candy Cane Lane? Oh my gosh. Candy Cane Lane was so fun because we shot Christmas for three months after Christmas. So it was the Christmas that never ended. <laughs> I love it. What was it like styling for the holiday? Um, styling for the holiday was fun because, you know, it's like the holiday, so everything is just like really luxurious and pretty, and it was just fun. I love it. You want like a nice fun team, fun crew, fun set? Yes, we had an amazing set. Every day was like a party, like a holiday party. <laughs> Great. Question for you all. So you guys are nominated tonight. What was it like to be nominated and be working on the series? Um, good. It was a TV movie. It was movie. a TV, movie. Yeah. TV movie, yes. <laughs> for Netflix. It was amazing. Awesome. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. What was it like working with the stars? Great. Joan yeah. was funny. <laughs> They're all good. Eddie Murphy was funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. Was it a comedy behind the set as well? Yes. yes. All the time. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much. <laughs> so you worked on the show, The Bear. Yes. What was it like? It is, like, it's literally the best show I've ever worked on. So, so fun. It's, like, very fast-paced. The cast is great. The crew is great. I love the city. Love everything. So, yeah, it's been a great time. Have you watched the show yourself? I have watched it. I've watched it after every season, and it was just magnificent to, like, see and just like finally see all your work finished and to be here is amazing so yeah it's really exciting so Jenna you are here tonight honoring the makeup artists and the hairstylist how does it feel it feels amazing this is my first time at the Guild Awards and I've been working on Dancing with the Stars for the past 10 years and the hairstylist and makeup artists on the show have become my family so to be able to support them tonight specifically as well by being here is just an honor. I love them so much. How beautiful. And obviously work on Dancing with the Stars. What other projects can we be aware of that you're working on? Um, I'm very excited because Val and I actually just got back from the Dancing with the Stars tour, which was really incredible. Um, and then we have some fun projects that we've actually never done before. We're performing at a screening um, for Poor Things, the movie coming up. Yeah, so just some fun artistic projects coming up that we're excited about. Thank you so much, Jenna. Pleasure meeting you. Thanks, nice to meet you. Have a nice night. Hi, Kay. Good to see you. How are you doing? Good. How oh. is that about you? Good. I love the sequence. You look lovely. <laughs> yes, you have to be, right? I'm presenting, so it's It's an honor. So ask you a few questions. So Kate, you are presenting tonight. How does it feel? I love doing this. I do this every year and it makes me so happy because uh, the makeup and hair people, they work so hard and through this they get their, you know, acknowledgement. And if it wasn't for them, those of us in front of the camera would be in big trouble. I mean, especially me, a big trouble. They're, they're artists. They're incredible. They are. And your team is also nominated tonight. How does it feel? Well, actually, both because they crossed my character, I mean, Young and the Restless, and then they crossed my character, Esther, over to Bold and Beautiful for five shows. So they're both up, you know, and I'm going, oh, my gosh, you know. So, I'm, you know, they so deserve it, both of them. And um, the fact that they're nominated is really, really great. So. Thank you so much, I'm Kate. presenting those categories, so, you know, I get nervous about that. 
I don't blame you, but the talent comes natural, so no need to have those nerves. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Thank you, Kay. So you were here tonight to honor the amazing makeup artists and hairstyles. How does it feel? Oh, it feels great. I, I like this part of it better than the, you know, the poses. I'm still working on my poses, but I think it's important to honor everyone who's worked so hard to either get to where they are or to, um, to finally be acknowledged for their hard work. And you worked on the second act. How did it feel? Oh gosh, um, it was a beautiful experience. Um, I I still look to Leah Remini and J Jennifer Lopez for advice. Uh, they've been so lovely through uh, my progression with Night Court, and they've given me some great advice on how to proceed and what to do next. And so, yeah, I'm so glad that I was able to be a part of it. I love it. Any upcoming projects that we can be aware of? Yes, uh, Night Court. We have two more episodes that we're shooting. Um, we'll be wrapping up on my birthday, March 12th. Yeah. Well, enjoy the night. Thank you so Pleasure much. meeting you. Rachel Liambi. Pleasure to meet you. Awesome. So you're here tonight to honor the amazing makeup artists and hairstylists. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot uh, because uh, the hair and makeup room is like, it's, it's the place where we transform, you know, we actors, you know, we, um, you know, anything that we have on the outside in terms of our problems or whatever. We get in that hair and makeup room and it's just all joy, all laughs, and that transition happens. And uh, I really feel like uh, any work that I do, uh, a big part of that is because of that energy inside that hair and makeup room. I love it. And you were on screen for Mike and Molly. What is it like backstage? Um, I mean, Mike and Molly was amazing. It was, uh, it was incredible. Mike and Molly was incredible. Um, with all those amazing actors, with Melissa McCarthy, Billy Gardell, Katie Mixon, Susie Kurtz, um, the list goes on. Uh, uh, the, you know, doing the good fight, same thing. An amazing cast with Christine Baranski, Audra McDonald, uh, Delroy Lindo, and the list goes on. And now, now doing Night Court. Um, the Night Court uh, uh, being amazing with the, John, the amazing John Larroquette, uh, Melissa Rausch, um, you know, India, uh, De Beaufort, uh, Lacrita. Like we, it's, you know, and the, the amazing guest stars, but then again, that hair and makeup team, again, joy, music, love, you know, uh, it just makes, it just makes the work that much more easier. Amazing. Thank you so much. No, Pleasure right. meeting you. Have Pleasure a great night. You too. You too. Hi. So you worked on The Bold and Beautiful. And nominated tonight, how does it feel? It feels incredible to be nominated. It is such a blessing and honestly an honor and a privilege. So I'm happy to be here with all the other nominees. <laughs> Thank you so much. You. It's one question, but you nailed it. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Nice to meet you. Awesome. So you're here tonight. How does it feel? Oh, man, this is, I think, my fifth time doing it, which I just love because, honestly, they're the best people in the business. There are, you know, they're an actor's best friend. So I just love supporting them, and it's just awesome to be here. I love it. And what is it like working on the iconic show Fuller House? Oh, gosh. Uh, that was a dream come true. It was just full of such amazing people that sort of the loving that you see on the screen is exactly what it was behind the scenes. So it was, it was just a really, really, really special time in my life. And it was a blessing, huge blessing. Our fans love to hear that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hi, Rachel. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Pleasure to meet you. So you look fabulous tonight. Honoring the makeup artist and the hairstylist. How does it feel? Nice. Favorite people. I mean, when you are on a set, these are the first people you see in the morning and the last people you see at night. They're your mom, your dad, your parents, your kids. You just, they are truly like, you walk in a disaster and you walk out ready to work. I couldn't be more excited to be here supporting the hair and makeup teams. I love it. And what is it like? We know it's like on screen for I'm Sorry, but what is it like behind the scenes of I'm Sorry? Um, very similar <laughs> to how it is on screen of I'm Sorry. You know, when you're playing a version of yourself, you have a lot of moments where you're like, is this the show or is this real life? Um, but obviously, you know, there's a lot of hard work that goes on behind the scenes and all of that kind of thing when you're when you're in it and the location scout, you know, you're doing all the stuff that's not so glamorous. Definitely. And what projects are you currently working on that you want to shout out? Um, well, I'm getting ready to go back on for season two of Tulsa King with Sylvester Stallone um, for Paramount Plus. And then um, I just finished a film called Chosen Family, which just closed the Santa Barbara Film Festival last night. So, yeah, I have some cool stuff. And then I'm writing and got some projects directing in the works as well that I can't talk about quite yet. Awesome. Love to hear it. Thank you so much. 
So you are here tonight to honor the makeup artist and hairstylist. How does it feel as an actor to be here? It's great. Uh, my mother's a makeup artist and hairstylist in England. So I kind of grew up around uh, the business when I was younger and um, have a great appreciation for everything that they do. Amazing. And you worked on a pretty intense show, The Walking Dead, as we all know. What was it like behind the scenes? Uh, the Walking Dead behind the scenes was a bit strange because the makeup, special effects makeup department do such a good job that you're sitting down having lunch next to the zombies and they look like zombies, uh, which is pretty cool. And then in the most recent film I did uh, called Imaginary for Blumhouse, there was some really good creature effect work in that. And with a similar, you know, it's very practical, uh, which is so impressive and, and much less CGI. And as like an audience member too, are you a big horror fan yourself? Yeah, I like horror films. I do. Uh, I haven't actually been to watch, uh, watch one for a long time, but it's fun being in one because you get to see behind the scenes and you don't get so scared. Right. Did you watch yourself in Imaginary yet? Uh, I have seen the film, yeah. I don't get involved in too much of the scary stuff, which is nice. Uh, I play like the father. That was the scariest thing for me. I play a father to a teenage girl, <laughs> which, which was a big step up for me having never played a father in anything. Uh, so that was a big step for me and uh, that was enough of a horror for me. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for the interview. Enjoy tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I look in the mirror and Mia is staring back at me. That's really the magic of hair and makeup uh, in our television industry. And, and again, it's really an honor to be here tonight. Thank you so much. You. So eloquent. Thank you. We'll grab you real quick. Um, so how does it feel to be nominated tonight? Amazing. It's great. <laughs> well, what was it like working on the production? Um, it was super great, very creative, really fun, great colors, amazing cast, amazing crew. It was really fun. And then can you say your name for the camera real quick? Uh, Chloe Nil Azurall. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chloe. Never done nice! Like you. Yes! That's so great! Pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you as well. So you were... What were you with? Oh, Bionic Buzz. Oh, nice. Okay, great. I know. Kind of packed in here. So you were honoring the hairstylist and makeup awards tonight. Yeah. How does it feel? It feels amazing. They work so hard and do um, make help us create characters. I mean, a lot of what we're doing tonight is recognizing the work on television and film, right? So it's not like the red carpet is itself its own amazing look. But um, but this really, they're such a part of the creative process. It's um, You really kind of work inside out, you know? And sometimes when you have to do prosthetics and things like that, you work outside in and it really can help you transform the character. So it's, they also have to put up with our moods. You know, we come in early in the morning. They're not just putting makeup and hair on our face. They're, I mean, they're not. Well, sometimes they do put hair on our face, like if we have to do a beard or whatever. But it's, um, you know, they really have to do it all. They have to be mini psychotherapists and and mothers and cheerleaders and you know, it's really they're a really important part of the process. How special! And we love your work on Old Dad Suits. And Suits is doing a big reboot. So, um, is Sheila coming back? I don't know. I think that anybody in the original cast is going to go to. Um, They'll do pop-ins, but that's it's kind of it's like its own show, sort of like all the NCISs or the CSIs and things like that. Like they, they're doing like CIS Vegas or CIS, you know, New York or whatever. And now this is Suits LA, so it's it's exciting. So, question for you: You were honoring the makeup artists and hairstyles tonight. How does it feel? It feels great. I mean, they do so much behind the camera. They usually do not get any of the um, accolades that they should be getting. And it's funny, even getting ready for this red carpet, you know, we're like rushing the hair and makeup team because we have to get out the door. And it's, they work under a great deal of pressure a lot of times in this industry. And uh, they do it with such grace and precision that they should be celebrated all the time. I love it, and they help bring your characters to life. Oh, they really do. Yeah, they they help with the uh, nuance of every character because it it means something. The way this woman does her hair, her makeup, whether she's a you know downtrodden person, you have to express that with your hair and makeup, or she's the queen of England, and that's. You know, very important too. So it really makes a difference. Definitely. And we know that you're busy. Tell us what you're up to and what we can stay tuned on. Well, right now we're um, airing the last season of Curb Your Enthusiasm. So that's what 
we're doing right now. And actually, I just started a um, self-care company with my daughter called Heinz and Young because I went to cosmetology school. I got yeah, I was a uh, I have my license in in um, cosmetology, so I actually worked as a hairdresser for probably two or three years. You know what the fans want. I know what the fans want. Yes, we want to relax. I love it. And where can we look out for your brand? Uh, it's called Heinz and Young, and you can just go online and type in Shop Heinz Young and get some beautiful fragrance candles or some body butter that will make you feel fantastic. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Cheryl. So you are here tonight. How does it feel? It feels amazing. Uh, not just only to be a presenter. Uh, but just to be a friend and a f part of the family, right? To, you know, kind of celebrate the, again, I'm sure this has kind of been the, the same rhetoric that you hear a lot as the unsung heroes, right? The, the folks that are behind the scenes. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a real pleasure to support those that support me and what I do and make me look really good in front of millions of people. And so, again, I'm here as now their friend and their support system. And I saw you ran into Jenna. How was it running into her? I ran into my wife. Uh, no, we knew we knew we were going to be here together. Um, no, it's it, again. I, I think a lot of times, well, inevitably, I take for granted what an amazing artist, you know, performer, human she is, uh, outside of being my wife and the mother of our child. So it's nice to get dressed up, get out of the house, and kind of appreciate each other at at a distance, if you will. I love it. And behind the scenes of Dancing with the Stars, do you get to dance at its, its side? Yeah, of course. I, I dance because I, you know, I love dance on Dancing with the Stars, off Dancing with the Stars. I am a, you know, I've, I am committed to the world of dance, not just on television, but off television as a teacher, as a, as, you know, we, I teach kids, I teach adults, I, I have dance studios, so, you know, it's something that I, I preach the gospel of dance, you know, it's been a vehicle for me to connect and help people, and so I, I do it all year round. How beautiful. Thank you so much. Pleasure meeting you. Enjoy tonight. So you're honoring the makeup artists and hairstylists tonight. How does it feel? Uh, it feels great. I feel like they should be honored every day. <laughs> I love it. And how does that impact you and what, you're, what you do? Well, as an actor, uh, the, the relationship you have with your hair stylist, your makeup artist is very intimate. They know everything about you. They are, they are your bubble, that trailer. They help prepare you to do your work. They are family. They, I mean, they really, they're your bodyguard, your ally on set. They're always there. They're just, they're very important. Right. And you're working on Young Sheldon. What was that like to know about Bing Bang and then now the reboot? Uh, I mean, just to even be a part of that entire that story that they've been telling for in different in different ways is huge. I mean, the writing is phenomenal, the cast is amazing, and just to be a little part of that, which everyone loves it. They just it's it's such a great show, and I every time I get to walk on that set, I feel very uh, grateful, very blessed. Amazing, and it's good to hear that behind the scenes it's just as positive. It, it really is, and I I have been very lucky in my in my work life is that I've been on really wonderful, positive sets, and I I think that's it, that's how it should be because it's lucky you're we're we're happy to work. I th it should be a great place, and it's a happy place, and especially when there's kids on set, you want to make sure it's a really positive, great place, and they do such a wonderful job. Of making it always have made it a fun, positive place for the the young people on set. So that makes it positive for all of us. Love to hear it. Thank you so much. Thank Pleasure you. meeting you. Enjoy tonight. Nice to what a wonderful night. I hope that you enjoyed those videos. Like, subscribe, and comment for more.